Adelaide drivers could have their rego bills scrapped in favour of a radical new use-of-hay system for our roads. A new federal plan unveiled today also backs new tram lines in the suburbs and fast-tracking of works on South Road. It's that time of year when a car race forces Adelaide drivers to slow down. But it's not just during Clipsal and the festival season that SA struggles with traffic jams. We all want to end congestion and to remove the bottlenecks that are slowing back either family life or slowing back business and connectivity. An Infrastructure Australia report has identified 93 priority projects to drive our transport networks forward. Among them, scrapping car registration and the petrol excise and replacing them with a user pay fee based on how much and when you use your vehicle. Trucks to be charged first and eventually cars. If it were to be proceeded with is uh, at least a 10 year journey. Better calibrated user pay system has some attractions but it obviously has to be done as with any of our policies in a way that is equitable and is fair. The report also highlighting the importance of local projects including electrifying the Gawler train line which has been delayed for years due to lack of government funding. The more money uh, that the federal government pro can provide and uh, the sooner it provides that money the sooner we can get going with that. Extending Adelaide's tram network into the suburbs as it was decades ago has been labelled a medium term project that should occur within 10 years. We would think that uh, through a, a three-way funding combination uh, between federal, state and local government we should be able to bear the burden uh, of funding these projects. Sealing the key tourist and freight route, the Streslecki track also given priority. The report also recommends increasing the amount of recycled water from Bolivar to boost irrigation in the northern Adelaide Plains. And with more on those big infrastructure plans, we're joined now by Eddie Godfrey. Eddie, what other projects could be fast-tracked? Well, Kate, one of them is the north-south corridor upgrade. While well, we've got works happening at the Torrens to Torrens area and plans well underway for the Darling Darlington upgrade, there are about 15 kilometres worth of the corridor which don't have a firm timeline in place. The government wants to have the entire 78-kilometre stretch done within the decade, but the report today says it needs to happen much faster than that. It is a top priority project and it should be happening within the next five years. So that's something for the federal government to go away and consider now and then discuss with the state government.